Hey everybody, I am signing in today because I want to do some fun curls, something different. I have a lot of time on my hands, so uh, what better time to experiment and try something new? No one's going to see me, so if it turns out poorly, then oh well, I'll wash my hair and start over. But so what I have here is a incredibly small curling iron. A half an inch, quarter of an inch, um, super tiny. And so I'm gonna take lots of little sections of my hair and create lots of tiny little curls. So see a lot of volume and um, see what we can come up with. So, all right, here we go. So uh, basically I uh, diffuse my hair. So I have a little bit of wave. Uh, it's not really curl, but it will help me if I'm going to make a curly style that I've got this uh, texture already going. So again, I'm going to start with um, small sections. So I'm going to start in the back and clip up the hair and get it out of the way. Um, I'm not going to, sorry, let me get this out of the way. Uh, I'm not going to really comb through and see my hair in the back is got a lot more wave than the hair on the top of my head. It's always fun. Um, but I'm going to take small sections. And this is a Marcel curling iron, so it's a little bit different. So if I burn myself, please don't laugh. Okay, so basically I'm kind of turning and, and clicking out to get this little corkscrew curl and then taking my next little section I'm going about halfway in turning it up to the root and clicking down all right so I'm gonna work from side to side dropping a little bit down each time Okay, had to take a little break. My arm is getting tired from curling and we just have the top to go. So I'll show that. But while this little break, I wanted to go through what I did to prep my hair. So I used the Love uh, Curl Shampoo by Dobbiness. I used the Love Curl Conditioner by Dobbiness. A little in this, um, and wet hair, I used the um, Love Curl Cream uh, and then I diffused my hair um, till it was almost 100% dry and then I let it air dry the rest of the way. I hadn't used any hairspray or anything like that yet because I wanted to do a curl so I didn't want it to be too too stiff. Um, but then I did use um, the Melu, um, the uh, heat shield. I missed that through my hair before I started the um, curling process. So. All right, so now I'm um, kind of changing directions. Um, so for the most part, all of the sections around my hair were up and down. And so now on the top of my head, I've gone, um, hopefully you can see that, straight across. Uh, not real perfect with my sections, but, and now I'm going to subdivide those sections, pulling them straight up. And then again, going in close to the scalp and doing a turn, getting it nice and close. So I want a lot of curl right at the root area. And I kind of click, 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 and continue to roll until I catch all of those ends. Again, making sure that this iron doesn't get too hot on my hair and clicking it through to the end. Okay, and so again, I've got my section here, and I'm going to subdivide into another section using pretty small sections on the top. I really maybe use bigger sections on the end. Turn my head here a little bit. So half turns, getting it really nice and close to the scalp, 
using small sections so I can get a lot of curl out of this um, style, especially on the top. All right, here we are, we're at the last section. As you can see, I haven't brushed through or, or disturbed the curls yet. Um, so once I get done with this last section, it could get really scary, but really cute, we'll see. All right, so I'm trying to decide where I wanna part. I'm probably gonna go with more of a, a side part like this. I'm gonna take this curl back away from my face. I have burnt my fingers probably three times, so um, be careful. These curling irons get hot. All right, and then I'm gonna go to this side. And you want to be careful of these front hairs. They're a little more delicate. They usually tend to get a little more abuse, a little more heat. So be gentle with those guys up there. Taking some nice small sections. Get all those little flyaways. And I do have a lot of layers, so this is going to give me a lot of volume having little curls like this. Okay, so on to the next step. Oh, keep my fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm ready to break through and let the curls cool down. I'm gonna start with Oi Oil by Davines. I'm gonna go uh, maybe two or three pumps, get a really nice thin coat on my hands. I'm gonna start underneath and I'm gonna take my fingers through my scalp and stretch out. And stretch out and stretch out. And, oh yeah, we've got some volume here. All right, so, so, let's see here. As we kind of, kind of push and pull and kind of get an idea of where we want that hair to lay. I don't know, kind of loving it. Something a little different, you know, fun to go out on the town and when we ever get a chance to do that again. Um, or just something fun, something different. Uh, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the, it's a medium um, hairspray, just to make sure I get some, some hold whenever you're using hairspray. I like to, you know, kind of lift the hair and spring it underneath. Never forget that back area. Okay, and then I love this product. Uh, it's a Shimmering Mist by Davines. It smells amazing. It smells like um, vanilla cupcakes. And it's a really nice, light spray shine. So whenever doing um, curling iron work or, or heat work, especially 
with my hair um, having a lot of blonde highlights and lighter color, we wanna add some shine back because um, lighter colors just really don't shine as, as much as darker hair colors do. So, well, uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of digging it. I think it's fun, it's something different. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments um, below. And um, all right, well, uh, we'll see you soon. I'm gonna show off my shirt today, get to work. Looking forward to it real soon. Thanks guys, bye.